Hello, welcome to Self Care Sensory Sessions. Today I'm going to give you some inspiration that you can use to make some Valentine's themed sensory jars. So here are a few of the ones that I've made and I'm going to go through what I put in each one of them to come up with the different results that I have. So to start with I'm going to take something that I would have put in my recycling, so that can be a clear plastic bottle like I've got here or a jar or anything, this needs to be washed out fully before you use it. Then for this one I've filled it with some heart confetti that I found at a shop, some pom poms and some glitter and then I'm going to fill this one with baby oil. Baby oil has a thicker consistency than water so it means that the stuff inside moves a bit slower. Once I finish filling it I'm going to put the lid on tight and then I'm going to shake it up so I can mix the, all the inside bits together and then I end up with something that looks a bit like this. Quite happy with this one, the things move around quite slowly inside and it's quite interesting to watch. So for the next one I'm going to take another jar and then I've got some rice that I've just dyed with some food colouring in a bag and I've left it to dry overnight so I've got some red rice and some pink rice here and then I'm going to add in some love heart sweets. So the contents of this one is entirely taste safe which might be helpful for some people um, if you're going to make it together. I then added a few more of each ingredient in so I filled up the jar and then shook it around to distribute the love hearts and the sweets evenly and I like that you can read the messages through the jar. For my next one I'm going to take another clean jar and then I'm going to fill this one with some salt that I've dyed. I've dyed this one with acrylic paint but if you wanted to make it taste safe you could dye it with some food colouring. I'm then going to add in some love heart sprinkles that I found at a shop and I'm going to add in some pom poms as well just to make it a bit more interesting. I give this one a shake around and then I actually decided I didn't really like the contents of this one but I put it in here anyway to show that experimenting can be quite fun and then you can find out what you like and what you don't like. For my final jar I've got some glitter glue that I'm just going to put a little bit of in my jar and then I filled it up with some warm water. It has to be warm water so it mixes together quite well and then when it mixes together I have added in some different coloured glitters and my oil heart confetti again. I was really happy with the way this one turned out. It's just interesting to watch and nice and shimmery watching all the glitter settle to the bottom. And those are the four types of sensory jars that I made that have a Valentine's theme that you might want to take some inspiration from. Thank you for watching Self Care Sensory Sessions. I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll see you again next time.